decided to do something that I've been dreaming about for a long time, which is to combine art and electronics, create an immersive, interactive exhibit. And this is a modular structure. We built it in the lab. We built it so that it can be broken down into three sections. Each section is completely standalone. I really enjoyed uh, guiding people through the exhibit and watching their expressions. Especially, a big surprise has been how the children have reacted in the exhibit. So we've, I've seen now about 10 kids go through it, and they love it. Um, they spend a lot of time in it. They spend maybe 15 to 20 minutes in it, whereas an adult usually is, is through it in less than five minutes. So, and they hop from section to section and they throw their arms up. And it, Tom Martin, who I'd been teaching uh, junior design with, uh, agreed to be a co-instructor of this VIP team. He brings a, a career of leadership, organization, planning experience, and he was also uh, instrumental in bringing five L3 Harris engineers in as mentors, and they've been committed mentors. And we've tapped into a desire of students on the campus to, to do something with art, to integrate art with the technology. And so the VIP team uh, structure is great because it affords us the opportunity to, to welcome all majors. And it's really been a delight to work with all these different majors. The main purpose of this project is to learn what constitutes an effective multimedia interactive art exhibit. That's the primary purpose. And there's a secondary purpose also, which is to find out what elements of this type of exhibit could translate into the K through 12 classroom or school to attract young people into STEM careers. We had a lead STEM teacher from Gwinnett County come and he was very excited about this, and he, he wants to work with us to create a version of this that would be placed in schools that students would use to make their projects and put their, their projects into such an exhibit. 